So I'm going to get back into my watch community episodes that I started a little while back. I think I've pretty much exhausted what I could do at what I'm calling the 100 level. And just as a quick recap, um, I kind of, I went over a bunch of talking points. The big, the big thing was, you know, watch, observe, sub, on sub, like, you know, make some positive comments. So it's just all very common sense sort of oriented things um, to start to uh, get involved in the community too as well. Um, so, I, and like I said, I think that was probably very, very oversimplified, but I thought it was a good starting point and allows me to kind of continue on now. So, um, in terms of the 200 level, so I'm going to call this, you know, Watch Community 201. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do one or two at this level. I'm not sure. Um, but at this point, what I've got for talking points is as follows. Uh, Make sure that you're subscribing to channels that have live streams and, you know, start watching those uh, live streams, tune in, and again, make comments, keep them positive. Um, that's a great way to start to interact with a content creator um, at a more personalized level. They are generally smaller, like uh, I'll give you a for instance. Rob's live streams, Rob has over 40,000 subs. His live streams generally don't go much above 140, you know, hover, you know, hover. That's the highest, I think. I think I maybe seen some higher, but right around the 140-ish, and then it'll drop down a little bit. And that's with 40,000 subs. Um, so that's still a very intimate atmosphere there. Some of my other buddies that do them, um, Dane is good at doing them. Celine Driver Channel, uh, when he does his live streams, his his vary a little bit too as well 20 30 maybe at a time and i'm sorry if i'm understanding that um, bobby legs does some good ones um about the same number possibly too as well chris from the watch lounge does them a bunch um a lot of times smaller maybe 10 to 20 sometimes but again um, those smaller ones are just really good to be able to start to interact at a different level um and then I think I indicated in the first series that most of my experience is around YouTube and that's where I get a lot of my content. However, with that being said, as we all know, there is so much information out there, right? So um, I will eventually share this maybe in a standalone episode, but what I do is I, I bookmark things like crazy. Like I, I've got... Um, I use Chrome on my browser, and I bookmark things from um, sales pages of places like Mimos, uh, Toppers Jewelers, um, Delray Watch, uh, to name a few, and then also um, informative sites too as well, um, so that you know you can get a little news and those sorts of things too as well. Um, just a way to stay abreast of some of the information. Because as you start, here, here it is for me, as you start engaging with folks, it's, it's nice to bring something to the table, I guess. Um, what you're gonna find, I think, in this hobby is that knowledge levels all over the place too, as well. And I think the communities that I kind of like to get into are ones that I can engage with the content creator through the live stream uh, and then uh, maybe add a little something to you or add some knowledge or just a way to in, and let me say it this way to intelligently talk about things too as well so you know it's okay for us to try to absorb from these these folks and these channels that are doing things but I think as we progress through right we need to be um, increasing our knowledge level too so off the soapbox now. Sorry about that. Um, so that's it for now, guys. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, I'm going to try to keep these coming. I, I'm not sure how long it'll run for, but um, it, it just helps me kind of articulate where I've been and where I hope to go. But as always, stay positive, make friends, enjoy the journey. Talk to y'all real soon. Take care.